Yo, what is up guys? This is the TSSC Podcast. It's your boy GD0 and your boy Chaotic. Yo. And we're here to do a podcast on the topic of paranormal activity. And, you know, we, we did this, we did the same thing with the, uh, was it the Grudge series? And now we're doing it with the uh, uh, Paranormal Activities. Basically, I call it next movie. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is it a good movie to watch? Is it a good series to watch? Are we going to get number seven? Okay. Good movie. The first one, yes. It was actually quite unique. And good series. As long as you keep your expectations low. Mm. You'll be fine. True. Very, like the first true. movie. The first movie itself. You can have some halfway decent expectations. Because it was unique. It was good. But then when they started making sequel after sequel. It was like okay. Okay. It's kind of. It, they suffer from a thing known as sequelitis where the sequels get worse and worse but part of that sequel was a prequel and that's what made it really confusing you know what I mean yeah cause they, they, they really did a Kingdom Hearts crap <laughs> where they give you they, such a lore but you still don't understand what's going on at the same time not only that but basically um they drop the prequel in guise of a sequel exactly and that's what I'm talking about like dream drop distance they're not dream drop distance birth by sleep now, you know what I mean yeah and I kind of want to get into like these other like horror movies that kind of like follow that same situation but I mean at least they kind of like fixed it but you won't you wouldn't get a good horror movie out of those ones compared to I'll say like when it comes to like storyline they did it better but when it comes to like the spooky paranormal aspect paranormal activity has it hands down Oh yeah, good. yeah. There was, there was times where, it made me jump. Even the sequels, and I just, mm-hmm. which is, kind of weird, all things considered. Exactly. So. Because like you, even though you knew it was coming, it still catches you just a tiny bit off guard. Mhm. Now, there is a number seven, supposedly coming, twenty twenty one. I don't know if that's gonna be officially put out there like that but there was supposed to be something like that and then there was also a uh, a 2020 movie that's supposed to be a, another prequel but another side story apparently there was supposed to be an origin of Toby but we don't know if that's an actual legitimate movie that's connected to the main series here you're not gonna pour sand on it. But yeah, it's it's kind of weird because it's it, it makes it seem like okay, the origin of Toby. We need to know what exactly who is Toby. Is Toby a demon or not a demon? If he is a demon, or his origin yeah. was. Well, but, the, and that's good. The, we kind of actually would, because then it would confirm or deny like what all he can and can't do. Yeah. Now. And then again, it's, it, the, it's the whole situation. Like again, this movie says it's coming out twenty twenty. There is a trailer for this movie, but I don't think the it's the official movie to that movie. You know, to the main series movie. That's the only problem with this. It could be okay. Okay, I'm going to the. 
niche side of the... Well, it's not really niche anymore, because it's going to be a launch title for PlayStation... Well, not launch title, but it's on the PlayStation 5. But it's almost like the FNAF franchise, really. They could they could pull that. Well, they could pull that, but then it's like... No, no, what I mean is... um. Basically, uh, Scott has three separate universes. Uh, like, three alternate universes. And they're not canon to one another, but they help fill out each other's canon. Mm. If that makes sense. I'll have to, like, look at it that day. Mm. Because I because I thought it was throughout the different timelines of what's happening between the three. No, they're all separate timelines. The games are one timeline. The uh, the trilogy is another timeline, and then the Fazbear Fright books are a separate timeline altogether. Oh, yeah, he takes, like, different things from the actual books. Yeah, I, I remember. And then, um, basically, like, stuff that's revealed in, like, a Fazbear Frights book can be applied to the games. Mm. And even further into the trilogy, just, like, stuff from the trilogy can help fill out lore from the game. Yeah. But they're not actually canon to one another. True, true. And they could pull that, too, where it could be not canon to the mainline titles, but what Toby is, is still the same from the that separate timeline to the mainline movies. Yeah, and just the, the thing is, is it's, like it's not from the same director. That's why I was like, uh, I had doubt this is... But, know. like I said, we could just probably pull up Five Nights at Freddy's, Mm-hmm. And be like, okay, well, in this one, even if it's not technically connected, we can still imply that this is what he is. So if they do go back to that main timeline of events, we know roughly what we could expect. Because this, this is the shenanigans he can pull. Pretty much, pretty much. That's, uh, where, that's where I'm going with that. Yeah. And if they do, and then if this movie does come out, in 2020 because I still haven't seen it. Um, we still have to wait into like the actual number seven to come out, which is apparently we don't have a trailer yet. Don't have any official information about it, but it's coming out 2021. Yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I don't know what the sequel could be on. I don't know it's gonna, if it's going to follow after the, the events that happened in number six. We wouldn't know. See, yeah, but since we're talking about sequels and crap, you know what I really would like a sequel on? Mm. The two remakes for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. True. And there's a situation right now where they already confirmed a sequel to the Michael Myers Michael Myers movie, like the Oh Halloween. Yeah, they apparently in the last one he did survive, and they did confirm he did survive. So they're gonna do the sequel to that. Just, Is this the Rob Zombie one? It's just kind of annoying because I thought they were no, gonna I'm... end it there. And just leave it as that. But they, the way they did the ending, it's just like, oh, no, there's a, there's a, there's a sequel to it. He did survive. Weird. I was like, huh. fuck, fuck me, <laughs> just, just fuck. It's like it was bad enough because I didn't really like it at all. And then I was like, okay, they ended it. Thank God they ended this movie. There should be no more sequels after this. Should be no. No one should be doing any reboots, anything like that. That's the end of the series. That's that's it. We don't need nothing else from it. It's Halloween. It's done. It's over. We got 
Uh, oh, come on, this is a it's a, it's a Western horror movie series. Yes, it, it, it's a slasher it's movie. End. It's a slasher movie. I understand this. It's a slasher movie. That's the reason why we're about to get uh, what you got a new sequel to the Scream series. Number I think it was yeah. number five. Apparently, we're getting, which is yeah. It's it's good that they're about to because it seems like they're really about to finish off the series, even though we thought it was finished with the four. But apparently not. So it's like, hey. okay, what else in the wacky family of you know Cindy that we had to deal with? You know. Yeah, it, it's just. But yeah, I just like I said, the reboot to Nightmare on Elm Street and the reboot to Friday the Thirteenth. I would not mind seeing sequels to them because they weren't bad in of itself. They they really weren't. Like. If you compare them as a whole to the series, eh, they could have done better. Oh, they could have. But if you just judge it as, like, on its own merits, they weren't bad. I guess you're right on that part, but still. <sighs> Again, it's kind of like Paranormal Activity. If you go in with expectations low, you'll be surprised. True. True. <laughs> True. But that's like that's mostly all horror. Like you can't, you have to keep your expectations low, or else it's just gonna ruin it. Because then you're, we're a generation that has been so desensitized by horror. What's that? But it goes back to the whole situation where people who like. And the government, let's say people in the government are parents in general. These are people who don't like anime for what anime is. It's to, you know, pervious to adult read it. It's just everything about it is a no. But then you turn around and you still want your kids to watch a rated R movie in the side of a theater without parenting, you know, without you know, being in there with your kid watching the movie because you think it's all right, it's okay to watch it, which is, it's like you're being a hypocrite to what you try to have your kid not to watch, but you let them watch it. No, not me, no. Um, but, but, don't get me started on the anime thing because that just, that bothers me in general because it's like, uh, I remember growing up, Saturday nights around 7 o'clock at night, watching Dragon Ball. And Dragon or Ball Saturday has... mornings, Saturday mornings watching Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Pokemon. Exactly. Like, if you're going to ban the anime, you got to ban them too. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. It's like, okay... You do realize Pokemon is anime. It's not a cartoon for the West. It's actually anime from Japan. In the, you know, it's like what you're doing is if you do eventually cut this, this is like cutting like the series away. You're basically saying let's be get rid of the series in general. Let me get rid of all Nintendo content, which they made a popular franchise on. That's giving you guys bank every single time to cut that shit away it's like that's, that's a bad idea what you're doing it's a bad idea yeah well yeah yeah and it's just like they don't understand how much they could really monopolize on anime and it's just on top of it like basically what I truly, truly, truly want, and I know it's never going to happen, is a streaming service. No politics, no nothing. You just translate it for subtitles and you leave it as is. Stop. You know better. Hey. Shit. That, but, I, but like I said, I know that's never going to happen. Off the flower. Yeah, because we have so many uh, freaking, 
you know, main series, like, I mean, main website type apps to, like, watch anime on that's paid subscription, which is... No, the like, paid subscription... The paid subscription's fine. Yeah, but you tell you to a point where there's people who don't have the money to do it, you know? Well, yeah, and I get that. I do. But... Um... Sorry, I'm... I, I get that, but at the same time... I, it's just, like, with the politics that, like, Funimation's pushing into it. Ah, Funimation I, needs to get canceled. I, I don't give a fuck. I, 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 I... But I'm just saying, like... It's just wrong. Like, no, like... If it's acceptable yeah. in a country that's one of the strictest rules about what it airs and what it prints. Yeah. It should be fine. <clears throat> True. You don't like it? Don't let your kids watch it. Exactly. That's the whole concept. You're the ones who have the right to say, kids, that is not meant for you to watch. You're not at this age. They already pit the fact that there is the rating on there to let you know this is only meant for this and up this and up this and up they have the parent guideline on here where you should follow by it right but just most people don't follow by but then again going back to the horror scene the horror stuff it's just like okay one it's a horror movie. It needs to be a horror movie. You telling me you can't have any horror movies nowadays because someone might act some type of way and start doing shit that they shouldn't be doing, even though this is technically a movie. You okay? <laughs> but yeah, it's. It's one of those things where it's like it's a horror movie, you know? And you yeah. Like for people to get scared, and you're not providing the you know scariness of a movie because you're too wussy out to like, even give it the recognition it like, needs. I I get I get why. Because I let my daughter, knowing full well what's in some stuff, like I let her watch me play Bloodborne and stuff because I don't want her to be afraid of monsters. I know it's kind of counteractive a little bit, but so far she's been doing good. Mm. Just wait until a little bit later where she just wakes up from a nightmare. Yeah. But it could be because she always knows I'm there mm -hmm. at night now. It helps. But, yeah, no, like, I want her to know, like, hey, look, monsters are not real, like, nothing to be afraid of. They're all in imagination. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to get a good horror movie. It, especially, this is another reason why I don't really like be a, that much of a free of horror movies nowadays because it's just like it's really hard to scare me as a person because I kind of like I'm so used to horror movies I'm like okay this is not scary yeah. you know and then your jump scares are not that on point where it needs to be like oh unexpected horror you know jump scare okay cool awesome you got me there Cause I always know when it's coming, so I can always go into yeah. a movie blind as a bat. But if I can't get scared from a jump scare, what's the point of a jump scare now? What, well, Nami? I'm sorry. And I get it. For most people who are not used to a a horror movie, 
of course, you would get jump scared or whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But it's like every time when you tell me or someone who's like, uh, nah, it wasn't scary. It wasn't really scary. I, I mean, I could probably tell you like it was a good story. But it wasn't good to a scary movie. Uh, and this is another uh, reason why I hey, kind of don't like you, the... Uh... You. You. Yeah. Uh, we, uh... I know you said... I, I... I stop. I go in the dark star. Oh, okay. Um, hey, uh... I know you said you're desensitized to horror, mm -hmm. but, uh, I am too. You know I am. I don't get scared that much. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, but the fourth FNAF game gets me. Well, I can say the same thing with Bendy. Bendy really gets me, which is shockingly interesting where I play Bendy and I'm like, Every time when I even start up that freaking game, it it's still like, uh, do I even want to play this? Do I even yeah. need to play this? I mean, like, I can still get scared over a horror game, which it's no problem. It's no problem to get scared over a horror game because at least no, that people just can means keep it's it. Like, they still keep that shit for real. But <laughs> it's just like, again, when it comes to, like, horror movies compared to a horror game, it's like, I'd rather play a horror game to get scared than right, rather watch a horror movie and not get scared. And yeah, and that, that's why I'm like going to like the whole Conjuring series, which I thought would have been like a good series, but the the whole universe of the Conjuring series, which is crazy because they're gonna do like two extra movies or whatever or I think it was it wasn't two I think it was like I think three extra movies or something like that to like finish off the the, the main Conjuring series which is cool but out of the main Conjuring series you had Conjuring Conjuring 2 Annabelle Annabelle 2 wait was there Annabelle 3 there was Annabelle 3 wasn't there and then mm. Yeah, you had Annabelle, Annabelle 2, and Annabelle 3. I think it was... Uh, uh, Conjuring. I'm going to have to look it up right now. But the Conjuring series, yeah. Oh, well, now we got it. Okay, so... The Conjuring Universe had, yes. Why not me? The Wikipedia will pull it up here. Okay. Uh, so, yes, it's Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, uh, Annabelle, Annabelle Creation, which is number 2, and it had Annabelle Comes Home, that was 2019. So, there is three Annabelles in that series. Uh, we have The Nun. That was also added onto the series. Oh, that was part of the Conjuring series. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because I, I think in Conjuring Two, it's what when she brought when she was kind of pushed for it, or it was in Annabelle Creation is when she was pushed for it. Ah. Uh, uh. But then they were supposed to do a, I guess, a number two to the Nun series, which is still unknown to when that's going to be made. Uh, then we have Curse of Florona, which also was a series connected to The Conjuring, uh, and also appeared up in The Conjuring 2 series, or no, it was in the NFL series, basically. Uh, yeah. Then, the Crooked Man that was introduced in The Conjuring, that's also supposed to be getting its movie as well. 
So in all of that, because we still don't have no word date when the Crooked Man is supposed to come out, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight movies that are out having to do with the country series, and then we're supposed to get our ninth movie having to do with country number three, and then maybe another sequel to the other two movies that I mentioned with The Nun and The Crooked Man. Yeah. So, in this country universe, again, was not technically scared. I thought I was going to be scared with the Annabelle, but that did not happen. That did not happen. The reason why, because I thought Annabelle would be controlled by the spirit of Annabelle, but not have a demon behind it yeah. controlling it. Let's go, sis! Yeah, I thought this it was like I thought it'd be like one of those like oh doll walks up, talks and do all the crazy shit. But nope, yeah. screw that one over. Yeah. As I I think dolls that could just get up and walk around pits on the scare factor. But yeah. having a demon wish it around, but not really like make it do shit when you should should be making this doll do something kind of like okay you can't scare me man. you can't scare me you can't scare me like this this is terrible this is a terrible yeah. movie so what I'm hoping for I guess conjuring number three is the same concept that you're gonna do regardless and not scare me Yeah. Even though uh, it's probably going to also have to do with Annabelle regardless. I mean, there's also other uh, characters that were introduced in Country, no, in Annabelle, that should also be adding on another sequel to another series that they might do later on. Yet again, Will we ever, will we ever see it? Probably, probably not. Yeah. Depending on the pandemic, we don't know. Yeah. But that's what we have to deal with. Again, a series that I thought would be good, but it's not that good. Yeah. And I'm kind of, I'm just upset how <laughs> these movies are not scary enough for me to really like. Oh, enjoy sure. them. Yeah, enjoy them as a scary movie. Like, I can watch The Evil Dead, and The Evil Dead still, it's not scary, but I'm still like, oh, shit. <laughs> Even though I already know I'm going to expect it, but it's just like, okay, I can still watch this. I can watch The Grudge, and I can still yeah. be scared. Like, it's like me playing Until Dawn. Hell. Even though I know it's something. Mm-hmm. It's like it still gets me a bit. Exactly. I could play like The Last of Us, and I could get scared. I could play The Little Nightmares, and I'll get scared. But it's just like Little Nightmares makes me uneasy. It doesn't scare me. Yeah, I would say the same thing. It kind of would just make you uneasy, not scared. But... It's more of a psychological thriller. Yeah than an actual I'm gonna scare the living shit out of you. Yeah, and I, I've, I've started to feel like that's probably the same thing with these, like the country series or any other horror movie now. It's just like, oh we're just gonna like try to fuck with you in some weird way. But you're not gonna really successfully scare the shit out of me. Which is kind of dumb. You should scare the shit out of me. But you won't. Yeah. Cause now it's like I, now I kind of rather watch a slasher movie, which will entertain me even more. So. <laughs> it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Um. Uh. 
yeah, I mean, that's I, kind of all I wanted to say about that. Like, it's it's just terrible how some of these horror movies are now. Somewhat... She's saying she's going to the toys. <clears throat> Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. You know. She yeah, I think that. everyone on YouTube knows my life situation. Mm-hmm. For um, the most part. <laughs> for the most part. Because you haven't been on YouTube in a while, so it, like most people will not know. Uh, it, it, not, uh, and I say it went back to I, your videos. But, uh, and, uh, well, that was because I had the between Ani and school, I, and I found out why I can't stream. And why because can't you stream? I can't stream, or at least video games anyways, because uh, I uh, get so invested or interested in what's going to happen next that I tend to play the save I tend to play the same f- file as the game I'm playing. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, well, crap. Because that's what happened in my last stream with uh, Death and Request. And I can't exactly do Persona 5 because I don't have an Elgato. Which I really need to get one. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be doing because, games and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, because with the Elgato, I could do the third semester, and that's what I want to do. Like, I want to play... If I'm going to do Persona 5... Say hi to the world! <laughs> say hi! No? Okay. Two-year-old wanted to insert into our conversation, and then when I uh, told her to say hi, she was like, no. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it's just like, um, yeah, so I need to get an Elgato so I can do all that jazz. Yeah, I guess it's understandable. I mean, so far, I think the last time I bought one, it didn't cost me that much, so I should be able to get one that's pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, but I'm half tempted, well, and then on top of it, I am getting a better laptop tomorrow. Actually, mm-hmm. have you ever heard of the MSI G75 Raider? No. And there was a motorcycle that just passed by. Great. Give me a, one second. Uh. All right. <clears throat> uh. uh the laptop I'm getting tomorrow, like it's getting shipped to my house, mm-hmm. is an MSI Raider, which is supposed to be really good. Uh. Like I looked up the price. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pricey. I bet. Uh, thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. I mean, yeah, that's pretty pricey. It's pretty pricey for a laptop. But I'm kind of glad at the same time because the new uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer. That's something I know I can stream, stream effectively, and I won't get too interested because I have to do it in one sitting. Mm. But what about Last of Us? Last of Us, I've been I've been trying to slug through more of it. I have been. Mm-hmm. You have. Yeah, I mean I haven't gotten much further because the clickers are a dang problem right now, but I've been trying. I mean, I know this is not the subject, but I I, I kind of want to know exactly how far are you? I'm still stuck at the same part. Oh my. 
gosh. No, because I think I might have accidentally backed myself in the corner with which ones I grabbed. So pretty much I got to like figure it out and how I'm going to finagle my way out because I'm in the museum. Oh my gosh, and, there. and it's basically I'll get like five steps in and by steps I don't mean like literal steps. I mean like do this, 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 and this. And then I think I'm safe. So I go and start going towards the uh, exit. And the next thing you know, a clicker just runs up and kills me. So I do it again. And this time, try to learn. Well, somehow RNG, computer AI, something. Makes it to where I miss one and that clicker kills me. I've just been having bad luck with it, essentially. Oh, the only time I just I, had... Okay, that's that's interesting because I haven't had an issue with the AI to like almost close to the end of the game. Almost close to the end of the game. That's the only time I actually have like a, a major issue with the game. Uh, well, it. it, it it just could be me because stealth sections were never really my forte. Ah, uh, okay. Remember, I'm a JRPG player. Yeah, closest, but still. I, but I, know, I, the closest thing I got to a stealth section is Persona 5, and most of the time it, I'm not even really stealthing. I'm hiding behind a wall so I can jump on some guy's head, pull off his mask, then ambush him. That's it. I mean, it's, you're or doing the I, same concept. It's literally the same concept. No, no, me. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not you, not you, child. <laughs> but no, like, this one's yeah. more of a... I, if I had to relate it to another game, it's like Metal Gear. No. It, the stealth section. How deeply involved it is. No. It's like playing Assassin's Creed. Is that, oh. That's what you need to compare yeah. it to. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mindset, because I love me some Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Because you sneak up on your opponent, and then you're basically killing them. Which you could do in that particular game. So I'm like, no, it's literally like Assassin's Creed. It just went out the high jumping off the you know tall buildings. Hmm. Maybe because I was kept, kept. Maybe I. Maybe. Maybe it's because I never tried taking the clickers down. Uh. I mean, you should. But you probably. But no, wanna, uh, see, you want to distract them. That's the other thing when it comes to clickers. You have to distract them. I, one of these times, I'll, I'll, I'll try it, I'll do it again, mm -hmm. hopefully I can get it, mm -hmm. but I also have, I have you on one side telling me to play The Last of Us, I have another one of my friends telling me to play Final Fantasy fourteen, so I can become a blue mage. And then I have my own backlog in the back. Uh-huh. And then the thing is, knowing the fact that I need you to finish it, so I can get I know, started I know, on I know. number two, which I still haven't even gotten to number two yet, because I'm like, I'm just waiting for my buddy to finish the first one. I know, I know, I know. I need to try more. I need to play it more. Because I want you to go through the emotions, my guy. I want you to go through the emotions. I know, I know, and part of me, uh, and I'll be honest, lately, it's been tough for me to pick up a video game. Don't kick me, child. Go. Uh, I get it. I mean, like, I, this is why I kind of, like, try to, like, stay from, like, mostly, like, 
RPGs because if I do get into like RPG games because I'm still kind of like haven't finished uh, Xenoblade <laughs> which I should have finished it by now but I have it and the only reason why I have it is because I need to stream it and I haven't streamed it so and I've been well, pretty let's much not talk about Xenoblade and I kind of like did some side quests to get leveled up so that's why I kind of have it like let's pages. not talk about Xenoblade <laughs> I have them both and let's just not get into that <laughs> Guess where I am in sex. Uh, I just, like, a few days ago, because the Switch is the easiest thing with my dad. Mm -hmm. Just a few days ago, finally freed Nia from the Titan airship. So I'm still way the hell at the beginning. Yeah. And then for the original Xenoblade, Fuck. uh, I don't what's her name? See, I, don't, I don't think you've seen my stream yet. So I believe like I'm still in the middle of the game. I haven't like gotten even further than that. And then in the original Xenoblade, uh, I'm at, uh, I, if I remember correctly, it was just after, uh, what's her name died. Oh, okay. So you're right where I'm at. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cause I was like, I just barely got into the middle of the game. So I haven't gotten too far farther than that. That's why I say, like, if you watch. Oh, no. The like, original Xenoblade? Yeah. No, like, at the beginning where that mask, uh. Yeah. You're you're right behind me. You're right behind me. But oh, okay. I just like I've gotten to a certain part. If you haven't seen my stream, I got into a certain part, and I'm kind of just there, just doing uh, requests right now, like side requests and stuff. So I haven't like further in yet. Yeah. Like, and... cause number two, I already completed, and that's that's. That's all I care about with that one. Okay, I okay, mean. okay. Uh, then you can ask this. Um, people are saying that uh, Shulk's in the game in the second one. Yeah. Is he like a DLC blade? Uh, apparently, the thing is with this one is you had to do a certain mission that's in the the multiplayer. I guess the I guess the second half. Wherever place you need to go, you have to do something to be able to access the character onto your side of the game, or you be able to use them as a Blake character. But it's just like you have to complete this one mis this one part of the mission in there, which is kind of annoying, what? and it's stressful. Wait, wait, there's um, a multiplayer. It's not a multiplayer per se, but it's like a uh, it's like a world that you could go into and you get to use that character basically. Oh, okay, but, okay, okay. But if you complete that the thing that's in that the mission that's in the world that you have to use sock in will access the character into the main world where you'd be able to use them as a blade. And what, what's his blade? The Monado? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I think the same thing with the girl that he's with, too, as well. Yeah, the chick that died from the masked uh, machine. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. kind of cool, but it's like... The, the mission you gotta do is super hard, because you have to <laughs> do so much. Because it's like... It's one of those, like... like uh, like you go like let's say example plant versus zombies you're gonna do you're gonna have to do with these waves of enemies which is super which is fine in of itself annoying. it's super annoying and but it's still fine with itself typical RPG thing it's difficult it's very difficult with an RPG 
because I remember this is a game that has different level monsters and within the same fucking you know what? world yeah. and the field of with weaker monsters but you're doing missions is that may have to do with stronger monsters regardless and the only way you'd be able to get what you need is doing those harder missions to get that character that's which is super annoying because you gotta also have to deal with healing and be able to take out monsters. Okay, well, and also confession time. I I don't know if it's just personal preference, but I really don't like their combat system. <laughs> you tell me, like I like like I said, I completed the game entirely, but when it comes to like. No. no, like, both both Xenoblade games, like, I do not like the combat. I don't like the first one. I don't like the first one. And I think it's probably personal preference because of the auto attack. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have that much of an issue with the auto attack because it gets me to more move around than I usually do. I don't have a problem with that. But again, I still don't like the first one overall, the second one. Which is good, I guess, in the a way. One, the, the second one is more streamlined. Mm-hmm. I gotta give it that. But I don't know. I guess I'm so used to just playing games, RPGs, that I choose to attack. Yeah. Yeah. True. I mean, you could always. I think there's like a setting for it where you could actually change it where you could just physically attack but then it won't give you the options to do the other moves which is what you need to do is do the other moves so it can just automatically attack and then you can do the special moves that's i guess that's i know why you kind of have it like which i guess i, don't I guess buy. it's more i guess it's more of a jarring of a change yeah i mean the only problem so, i it, do have though that i don't like in the first one that they don't have in the that they do have in the second one is the guard. Oh, how the auto guards. Yeah, there's no guards in the first one, which is kind of, like, dumb. Like, why don't I have a guard? Why don't I have a guard? I need to block tax. I don't have a guard. And and number two, you could guard. And number one, Wait. you don't guard. You can block? Yeah, and, and number two, you could block. I didn't even know that. Yeah. See, that, again, that's what makes the, the number two such a better game overall. It's just you could block. First one you How can. How do you block? Uh, I, I, I think it was like one of the, uh, it's one of the special moves. I think it's one of the special moves that allow you to block. And again, uh. it's just you have to work it into your, like, setup. So... It- it will work. So you have right that. now, my right now my uh, process my my kit is uh, for Rex is Pyra and I forget her name, but she's a water type uh, sphere. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. But there's like two of them, but I think I know which one you're talking about. It's a darker lady. Oh, then yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I, like I said, you just need like the the move for blocking, and then you pretty much set. It just you gotta uh, balance it out with your character. Can you? So I wanted to get in the Xenoblade mm-hmm. too. You know, I bought it, and I was watching tip videos. You know, like. Here's some things you need to look out for. One of the tips it gave me was do not give your legendary blades to... Don't give all your legendary blades to uh, Rex. Yeah, because some, like, some of the legendary blades are not uh, used for Rex, which is, I understand. And most legendary blades are used for the other characters. So... Not all legendary blades go to Rex. 
when it comes to having Rex as but the main character. I'm just... What I'm just... Mean? They said it was for story reasons. Yeah, it's mostly for story reasons, but again, I still feel like overall, when you're like going through it, you kind of realize certain legendary characters are meant for this particular well, character, for this character, and it helps out with making the other legendary characters pure up. And if you're a legendary card, pure up because you have this legendary character, legendary core with this person. Do you get more of that other character? So right, just, okay, okay. Up. So it's really starting to sound like I just need to restart. It may sound like you might need to restart, but I don't think you really need to reset. Reset because I haven't reset mine because I still have like things that I need to complete. And most of the well, no, I'm characters. not. I'm not that. I'm not that far in. Mm-hmm. So and you could always reclaim playing. legendary cores, though. You could always reclaim legendary cores. Oh, so if I do release them, you could always they reclaim will come it. Back? But it just you have to because uh, it's such a random uh, um um uh, what you call it? Run. I would say some legendary cores cannot do that with, but. Some of these you have to keep because they're they're sometimes not that hard to reclaim. So. Oh, I know if I ever get Cosmos, never release her. Yeah. So. I haven't Which, released any mine. My, my dream setup, really, my like three that I want to use for Rex mm-hmm. is uh. Mithra, Pyra, and Cosmos. Okay. I can see that said. Um, but again, like I said, I wouldn't like try to like reset the game and just try to collect as much legendary cores you could get. And then... Well, I start out. I start out with a bunch of them because I got the expansion pack. Okay. And, um, I would say try to use legendary cores on other characters. Well, I have, like, like Ursula for Nia. See, I haven't, I, that's the only problem with Ursula, because I still need to get that one part of it complete to get that rabbit chick, and I still haven't gotten it. Because, uh... She's a healer. No, it's the. Uh... No, 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 no. I was saying it's like just... I have her on Nia because she's a healer. Uh, cause I was gonna say cause of the the rabbit chick that I'm trying to get with Ursula, it's like you have to do a certain part of the story which kind of irritates me. Yeah. And I don't understand why I gotta do it, but I gotta do it this way to get it. Just kind of annoying. So, basically, what you, what I should do, since I'm so early in the game, mm-hmm. is find out for those missions that you were telling me. Figure mm-hmm. out which blades are best for which. Wait until I have all my party members, and then start dumping legendary cores. Yeah. And then you have to dump your legendary cores onto the right characters. Yeah. And then if it if the character gets one that I'm not looking for, then uh release it to try and get it back. Got it. Okay. But, okay, so essentially what I'm going to do, then, is I'm going to dump one... I think you could switch the character over. I think you could have someone else use the legendary core. Yeah. Yeah, you're able to switch it over to the other...
character if he needed to. Well, then I'm not that far into the game. Uh, I'm not as far then, because all I can do is bond with him. Okay. That's interesting. So if I bond... So you, you're saying that you can swap, swap rare blades around? Yeah. Oh. Okay, never mind. I don't have to reset. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Cool. That you know how much of a load off that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I get it. Like, if if it was like a different situation, yeah, you want to be able to do it, but you should be able to switch the characters over. Cause I was able to do it multiple times. It just again. Hey. When it comes to like getting other rare blades, like legendary ones, it's like you have to do certain missions to getting the legendary bay to unlock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to also have the fact that this character has to be with this character to do this, to do that, which again I'm still having issues with <laughs> Ursula, which I need to get the only rare blade that I want to get, and it has to be that fucking rabbit, which is super annoying. Okay, so I need in, uh, <clears throat> very limited overdrive protocols. You have to use the very limited overdrive protocols. Later on, you can farm them by spending hours to max the affinity chart of a four-star common blade. Oh, okay. And then you get a total of eight through the, uh, through the main game, essentially, and then you can farm them in the post-game. Yep, that's exactly how it works. So, essentially, what I'm going to do... Uh, oh, sorry. Three from the main story. Mm -hmm. uh, three from the DLC. Mm -hmm. Five from character affinity charts. Mm -hmm. And then one per... Maxed out four crown common blade, and then you have to release it. I would say just release common blades. Don't release your uh, legendary blades. I I just I just feel no like, no no no. It's, yeah. It says four crown common blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh shit, did I complete all these missions? Huh. And then, the fastest way they're saying to do it is to, uh, send them out on Ursula's Merc missions. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out which ones are Ursula's Merc missions because I keep forgetting... And I don't know where her Erk missions are at, or I need to be like pitying. I think it was what, like, uh. Shoot, where, which one is it? Is it Garmont or. It has to be Garmont, right? Is it not Germont? And then what happens when you do a new game? Oh wait, you might not know. Hey, what? New game plus? Yeah. Uh, I'd rather you complete the game and then do new game plus. Well, I was just it, it, wondering. It, it, it keeps if, your it keeps your save data. You would just be overriding the save data on a new game plus. So you'll be basically 
still have your characters and on a new game plus. Do you get to keep your your the blades? Mm-hmm. You do? Yep. Okay, cool. But well, no, because I was reading up on a new game plus course. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I read it if you, like, complete the game first before starting the new game plus. Oh, yeah, I'm planning on getting all the rare blades before I do new game plus. Mm-hmm. Unless it's Cosmos and I just get fed up. Because <laughs> uh... I'm sorry, but they screwed us over with Cosmos. They, they kind of did. I'm not going to lie. Because, they kinda did. because Cosmos is a 0.01% chance. Exactly. Which is such, such an annoyance. Such an annoyance. Um, right. I should show you all the rare blades I do have at this moment. Which is, again, I still feel like, bro, like, it takes a while to get most of these. And it's so annoying. They're so annoying. Because, like I said, I'm, like, almost finished with most of these rare blades. It is trying to do some of their missions. It's the most annoying ones of them all. Oh shit, I forgot about this character. I have a... Uh... Okay, I'm not gonna even explain um, this for you though. It says that the... Uh... 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 Oh, she forgot that, but uh... It... Someone says that you can get rare blades back, but since RNG is RNG, it might take forever. Yeah, to get them back. That's what I'm saying. That's why. That's why I was like, I I rather you not try to like, re, you know, use your legendary blades because it's like, it's yeah. so hard to get them back when it comes to RNG. What? No, no. <clears throat> um, I do as soon as I find in. Uh, override protocol though I need to switch one of my blades to Nina Nia mm-hmm. because I have a healer on Rex you have a healer on Rex it was RNG how are you gonna have a healer like, on Rex yeah I pulled a healer on Rex Don't ask me how I did it, but I did it. Come on, guys. I don't don't think you need a healer on Rex because you should have, like, another character for healing. Well, that's why I said I need to swap it on to Nia. Mm -hmm. I want my Nia to be... I want Nia to be my healer. Tora to be my tank for now. And maybe Rex to be tank slash uh, attacker. For now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I want my party to set up. So, I think I might be able to... I think I might actually have some override protocols. Mm. Come on, let's do the drink. So yeah. So now that I know how to do it, I should be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to do it. Since uh, it's not tied to a story thing, it's tied to an item, and since I have the season pass, I should have the item. You should. I just need to make Nia my uh, master killer, though. That's the only thing 
<laughs> I have her as elite healer, but I need her as a master healer. Yeah. I already have one master defender, which is good. But I need a fucking master healer. <laughs> and I'm Sorry, pretty Frank sure that the, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that the only way I'm gonna get her to be a master healer if I can somehow max out her attacks. Yeah. Which I just need to max out her only need two of her attacks to get her a max healer. A max um a master healer. Nominee. Oh no, she's praying. Oh, Just a little bit lower. There we go. How about we start okay. some juice? <laughs> you want some juice? You want some juice? All right. You want some orange juice? But yeah, like I said, it, like, this game is a lot much better than number one, which is good. It's just yeah. dealing with trying to get legendary characters is probably like one of the most harder things to do. Uh, yeah. But then, I guess for number one, the only problem that I have with number one is the non-blocking issue. Yeah. Unless they do have a blocking mechanic and number one and I just need to get to that point <laughs> to figure out how to get the block situation on there. Could be. Okay, I got three truth boosters. Uh nine common twenty one rares. That's weird, because my... I have legendaries. Oh. Uh, Red Thread. Level 1 XC. Team Friendship. Chain of Keys. Morph Forward. Muscular Blade Trick Mirror. Careful, Eva. Uh, do 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 do. Legendary core crystal. Thinking of like sixty do of them. Not have it. I should. Extra game options. Oh yeah, I needed like how many? I needed one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I needed like eight more rare blades. Oh wow! Yeah, that's that's the problem there with that one, <laughs> where you need eight of them. Uh, but I think one of them had to do from a different game as well. Because I think they did a little bit of a crossplay with one of them, so I guess they one that needs to be from a different game. Yeah. I mean, I also have Sock and uh, Flora in the game, but they're not as my blades. They're, they're my blades, but they're not in the main part of the game since they're in the other world game until I officially get unlike them into the main game. That's the only way I'll be able to use them. That's my blades. Yeah. Which is uh, Para. That's her name. Yeah. Okay, so use override. Okay, now Nia now has Florin, which is the healer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have Digus, 
Electra, Percival, and Godfrey on Neo when they need to be transferred to Rat. For now. Uh, I'll keep them on there for now as Nia's, except for Percival, because mm -hmm. I really want Rex to have him, because he's cool. <laughs> and a tank. Mm -hmm. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I also have Veil on, her, on him as well. Uh, Who's an attacker. So. I guess that works. Veil and Nia. Or not Nia, Pyra. Mm -hmm. So. Also, we need to. Ah, I keep doing that. No, this is Daddy's. Here. There you go. I need to upgrade Poppy now. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Because I just got a crap ton of, uh. Ether crystals. Mm. Oh, okay. I can do evasion. I can do. So, what is Poppy? <laughs> Technic. Okay, okay. Tora is good for tanking, right? Aura? Yeah. Uh, see, this is the thing, cause how my setup is, because Tora, yeah, Tora is for tanking. That's why I have him as a master defender. Uh. Okay. So if I buy this uh, tank mod five for Poppy. Wait, which one? Oh, I need a technical manual. Oof. That but sucks. Which, which poppy do, do you mean? The... Oh, the first one. Okay. Because, you know, like, there's like four of them, so I'm like. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, there's there's four of them. I, I'm not going to, like, tell you exactly what they look like, but there's four of them. Okay. Well, poppy one's going to be the tank. <laughs> okay. Um. So, with Poppy, because uh, I already mixed this character out already, um, let's see, I think I got the internal shield on it, uh, as the weapon, uh, for the, the tank, uh, there's really not that much going on with the tank, I kind of like, gave it Energy converter. Uh, she can get a lot of Slayer mods. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, some special engines and whatnot. We're gonna make Affinity Max Barrier two because that's yeah. good. I have like. Ah. Uh, well, I have Affinity Boost 1, and, and I think I have, like, both Infinity Boost 1, but that's in the special and partments, so, I don't know. Oh, I got Damage Hill 2, where it adds 25%, uh, 25 chance to restore HP by 6 when you hit. Ah. I have accuracy up one. I have re uh, reaction notify one. Uh, I got the ice core. I got the tank huh. mod one. I kind of want to change the tank mod to. Do I have? I have tank mod three, but that's on my other poppy. I could give it luck mod. Luck mod would be probably better to use 
instead of using tank one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want to change it yet. Now that I'm actually delving into, uh... Whoops, now I have to energy convert. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it yeah. for like the I mean, the concept of this podcast, I guess. You know, kind of like went through paranormal activity all the way down to Xenoblade. Yeah, Xenoblade. Which is pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting for a podcast. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Makes me want to get back into the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 instead of trying to deal with the bullshit that's in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Which, oh my god, just, just Sorry, me but on that game. No matter what kind of BS was in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, nothing beats the BS of the poor chance of Cosmos. Again, like I said, the bullshit in number one. It's the bullshit that the fact that I still can't block in it, which is the bullshit problem with this. And I mean, like, I granted, I like the whole concept where you get different ways to like level up your character and your 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 move sets and whatnot. But the shit takes fucking forever. Now. Well, not only that, but another thing that's really nice is Xenoblade's kind of like Final Fantasy VII Remake, in which you are meant to take damage. Yeah, so, but here's another thing. The only thing I like about, even more about one compared to number two, is when you enter a new area, you can get leveled up. And then you get XP to level up in a new area. Yeah. By just walking into a new area. Which is cool! Which is awesome! You don't do that with number two. You could do that with number one, which is awesome. But, again... That's, again, another game that I'm going to have to pit, what, like, almost, like, 300 hours into? Like, I think I pit, like, I think I did, like, at least, how many hours of game did I do in Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I think I pit, like, 385 hours into it in number 2. And Dang. And I barely pit 50 hours into the number 1. Barely pit 50 hours into number 1. So... The fact that I'm going to have to pit more hours into number one pisses me off. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's, it's not going to beat the hours that I pit into Pokemon Sword, though. It's not going to beat the hours I pit into Pokemon Sword. Which, I pit like over a thousand hours into Pokemon Sword. Almost reaching, uh, two, not... almost reaching 2,000 hours into it. Which is crazy. I don't even think he could beat that. No. That's how addicted to um to my games right <laughs> now. Uh, let's see if I can't find my uh there it is. I just sent you a picture of my laptop that I'm getting. Okay. But yeah, uh again, uh I guess this is the end of the podcast. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, uh, definitely. Uh, Alright, with the kind of hopping. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much the title is how to do with paranormal activity, and then pretty much just rabble onto some other shit as well. Uh, that and, we do. That we usually do. Um, well, no, I was just saying that's how we do because we don't give a fuck. Yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. Uh, I mean, that's the whole point of the, uh, the, the brand here, I guess you could say, um, because <laughs> we really just don't give a fuck, because we don't really fuck yep. around. Um, yeah. but yeah, thank you guys for coming out to check in the podcast, uh, this is pretty much on, I guess, premiere. So this is gonna be, I guess, live for you guys and and whatnot. Um, I can't Don't worry, wait. we may or may not pop in the chat. 
We, yeah, that's that's another that's another thing. We may or may not pop it into the chat. Uh, as long as the audio is good enough, you know, sometimes, again, like I said, I've been working with this audio for the longest, and the only, the only issue was the having the headset, which is such a dumb idea with Discord and, uh, and OBS, but that's the only way it will work, is having the OBS setting set up to get the audio perfectly clear on uh, OBS, which I guess makes sense for OBS, but it just doesn't make sense to me all the time, which is dumb. I'm such a stupid guy <laughs> with technology, but I try my best. I try my best. Um, and again, thank you guys who do subscribe and do tune in, uh, who usually do tune into most of my live streams when I do do Call of Duty or whatever. Uh, for the most people who do check out uh, Chaos channel, he hasn't uploaded in a pretty good long time either. Um, but you can get, uh, you can still get some good content from him if you want to check some of his <laughs> stuff. Uh, uh, actually, I could. It it was like a month, two months ago, I think. Was it two months ago? Uh, uh six months ago. My bad. So almost, it's almost about to be like a year and a half. It's, it's like been it's, 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 it's been a half a year since you uploaded something. So, but that, but that was when I was saying that I was up. Uh, you can just start streaming on my Twitch, and then, uh, and b the video before that was when I beat Zigbar. Yeah, uh, yeah, Zigbar. <laughs> if you guys do come out to like some of my streams, because I do stream on YouTube, but I also stream sometimes on Twitch. Sometimes I'll stream together. Usually it depends on what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah! <laughs> it's just... It's good like to help out support. I can finally get back into uh, Persona 3. And hopefully I can get to play Last of Us 2 whenever Chaos has finished the freaking game of Last of Us 1. <laughs> well, I mean, if getting it's gonna be tough because it's uh it, it is a very difficult game. I mean, I ain't gonna. Well, not so. only not only that, but between my uh my yeah. game that I'm making and no, that's true. You are making the game and my school and all that, which I still have to order my flash drive. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Christy, and... I haven't ordered it. Oh, well, I've made some more work into it. It's mm -hmm. just, uh, I need to transfer from my old laptop to this new one that's coming. Ah, uh, so you should have just bought you a, uh, what you call it? The hard drive, I guess? Extended hard drive? External hard drive? No, um, what I need to get is just a regular old flash drive to transfer my, uh, the one that I'm getting. Mm hmm uh the game the application in the game itself to uh um what is it called to from my old one to my new one uh. yeah i'm just looking back at my videos now and <laughs> what the <laughs> like what have i been putting up on his channel uh, again, uh, if you guys want to, like, eventually, like, check out his channel, I mean, I don't usually put links in the description, uh, just go to my channel, I do have, like, a, uh, list of channels to support, so if you want to support one of the other channels, uh, other friends who are pretty much subscribed to and try to work on it sometimes on, on a basis, Definitely check out their channels. Uh, his is also there if you want to check out his channel. Uh, I will. Well, one thing I'm definitely going to do is I am planning on uh, streaming uh, some game development and some uh, cultist simulator. That's cool. Uh, because, because cultist sim is. Uh, easy to stream and I 
am interested enough to play it, but it's so long that it's kind of... I got to do it in one sitting. True. And also, I will have a link to the Discord because I need, you know, for you guys to join it and be a part of the Discord. And we do, like, Pokemon stuff. We also do, like, other game stuff. We try to be as active as we can, but that's the point of getting more people to join up so we can be a little bit more active. Um, you know, again, try to grow the community. That was pretty loud, but yeah, just trying to grow the community and get it to be a little bit more big and more vibrant. Uh, right now, we're pretty much at a solid members of how many members do we have on this? Is there like a thing to like show us the members list or something like that? Of how many members here? <laughs> uh, it's somewhere here. I'm not gonna really pay attention, but it's 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 a pretty decent about. I would say about twenty of twenty four of us here on the Discord. And we're just trying to increase it more and more uh, and grow. Uh, but yeah, I will have a link to that in the description. Definitely come and join the Discord. Trying to build something here. Uh, so, you know, like the video. Uh, again, subscribe to me. Subscribe to Chaos if you ever get the chance to. Um, trying to reach about I'm not I'm trying to reach for a thousand but right now we're at 650 so I'm trying to just reach to 700 subscribers at this moment uh, that's the main goal probably 800 will be the next one and then we'll be reaching to that thousand goal so uh, thank you guys for the support uh, thanks for chaos to join me in this uh, podcast for today. Um, eventually, we'll, we'll get our other member uh, since we haven't gotten our other member to come on to the podcast lately. So, eventually, we'll get him to join. And I think he's kind of waiting on the Last of Us podcast. So, whenever we get that Last of Us podcast, we can I do know, that. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. See ya. Bye. Say bye, Chaos. Later. Alright. Peace. Bye, Barnum.